Hey guys, Candy here, and I'm just going to make a little update video, hopefully a short one. I don't want this to be super long or anything, but I just wanted to update you guys on a couple stuff. So, first things first, check it out, I got a new chair. I'll get up and I'll spin it around. Isn't it cool? It's nice. Um, this used to be a computer chair in my mom's work office, but then she changed uh, where she put her desk, and um, it's in a completely different room now. Uh, the work office is a completely different room. And, uh, so anyways, we switched chairs because I needed a lower one and she needed a higher one. Um, and this one is lower, so it fits uh, at my desk better. So, and it's really comfy. It has armrests and everything. Anyway, that's completely random, but I wanted to tell you guys that because it's cool and it's so comfy. Alright, so, um, other update. I did work on my Sonic Series Nightfinder that I showed you guys a while back. Uh, I started this... I guess at the beginning of the week. I actually did this all in one day. Everything you see here is mods done in, in one day. Uh, the only thing I have to do is cover up the front so that way it can have a coupler and fit a barrel on it. But yeah, it's a completely... This entire piece of PVC is the plunger tube now. So it's a completely plunger tube replaced night finder. Um, it works... or the modification is exactly the same as a uh, night finder rifle modification uh, so if you go on the forums go on nerfrevolution.com or nerfhaven.com and look up all the nerf night finder mods and then <coughs> excuse me jeez um, and then find the night finder rifle mod what that does is basically replaces the air chamber with like one inch uh, PETG tubing or something like that. I don't know. I didn't use one inch. I used one and a quarter inch, and I completely replaced the plunger head as well. So, uh, what you see there, that's a washer sandwich. So what that is, is a, I want to say it's a one and a quarter inch, uh, rubber washer with two, uh, steel washers. Uh, one inch steel washers or something like that. I think it's one inch. I don't, I have no idea. I don't remember. Uh, but those are sandwiched in between that. And then I have uh, a smaller little washer and then a flathead screwdriver. Or screwdriver. A flathead screw. That screws into the plunger. So. That's what it looks like prime back. It has a slightly extended plunger draw. So that's the thing that's different about a night fender rifle and this. A night fender rifle you have an extremely long plunger. And it comes out to like here. And um, so that way when you prime it back, the plunger actually comes back like this far. But with this, it just comes back as far as it normally would, but it gets to go a little bit farther forward. As you can see, this goes all the way to here. In a normal night finder, it would go only to like there. So I'm getting about, I don't know, I'm guessing like a half inch more plunger draw out of it. So that's cool. Um, pretty much exactly how much more plunger draw you'd get in a uh, plunger tube extension or like a draw extension mod um, but this is a little bit more than a draw extension because I completely replaced the air chamber as I've already stated and then I basically hot glued it on uh, if you can see here you might not be able to really tell with the resolution of my camera and then on the other side I have some polycarb that I cut out two pieces and then I hot glued those to each side and then to the shell. So the shell actually, I cannot remove any of the shell pieces. The only way I can access the inside is by removing that flathead uh, screw, and then I can get, I can take the plunger head off and get to the plunger and the springs. Uh, it's pretty crazy. Right now I have a long shot spring in here, a recon spring, and a lock and load, a stock lock and load spring. All three of those. But the thing is, with the way I did my plunger rod, there's some PVC and some metal, and the plunger head itself, which is actually really heavy. So I have a, it's a quite a he heavy plunger rod. So uh, even with that much power, like the plunger goes in pretty fast. But I need, I want more speed, more power out of the plunger. I feel like it's still pretty easy for me to draw. I want to make it more difficult to draw. So what I'm gonna do is probably remove most of the springs and then put like a K26 in this baby. It'll be awesome. Um, and also those springs don't have full compression right now. Uh, they only have like three quarter to half compression because the plunger draw is only like that much. So a long shot spring is like that long. So it's only compressing like that much. 
I don't know, it could still, it could probably still compress at least another half inch. Same with the recon. Uh, and probably same with the lock and load spring. So there's definitely, I could definitely add a lot more power to this. Right now it's not getting uh, as much range as I would expect something with this much extensive mods to be getting. Anyway, uh, so yeah, I'm going to order a K26 spring, put that in, finish up the front so that way I can put a barrel on it. I expect to be getting between 70 and 80 foot ranges out of this. Uh, I mean, the plunger rod, the plunger, sorry, the plunger, the air chamber, the PVC. It's so huge. So I expect to be getting a lot of range. I have a lot of, of uh, air capacity with this gun, which is awesome. And you still get the comfort of the grip. Of a lock or of a knife finder. <clears throat> anyway, that's my main update in terms of nerf stuff. Um, I was going to do a epic mod time video for this. I actually started filming an epic mod time video for this, but it just got too complicated to try to explain uh, in the style that epic meal time does it. So I decided not to. Like halfway through modding and filming, I was like, eh. Once I started trying to explain how to do the plunger, it just got really confusing. So I'm going to try to explain it in the video right now, just explain the concept, and hopefully you guys will be able to figure it out on your own. Or you could just, like I said, go on the Nerf forums. But the way you do this is pretty much the way you see my Night Finder is cut here. Um, I basically cut straight down from the top of the Night Finder until right above uh, where the trigger guard is. So I cut about, I don't know, I'm going to guess it's about an inch, inch and a half deep. And then I cut straight across, and then of course I did the minimization mod here. And uh, that's the main difficult part of the of the external. I guess you could call it an internal mod as well. Um, it's just cutting it all. I used a Dremel. I, I thought it was a little bit more practical than a hacksaw because a hacksaw, sometimes it's difficult for me to get really straight lines with a hacksaw for some reason. Uh, I'm, I just, I'm better with a Dremel. I don't know. And then you need to measure out your plunger, fit the plunger on, and then make sure you have a good seal. And I made a good seal by screwing on the plunger head. Um, the difficult part is you have to make sure you have access to the inside, like I did. Because if you don't, then once you glue this plunger down, you won't be able to open the gun up if you want to change out the springs or re-lubricate uh, the plunger or anything like that. So, just things you need to think about, just the basic things um, that you need to have a count of while you're doing the mod to make sure you do it 100% right. But, I mean, ultimately the concept is actually pretty basic. So, if you just kind of look at this, you could probably figure it out for yourself. But, um, it is a really cool mod. I really enjoyed it. It was fun to do. And once I finish it, of course, I'll show it to you guys again, and I'll probably do an at the firing range video. And all that good stuff. Final update, summer's coming soon. I have a week and a half left, and the half uh, of a week that I have left is the finals. So I have only one full week of school left, five more days. And so <clears throat> I have one more test in physics, um, one more test in my astronomy class, um, no more tests in honors world history, so that's cool. Yeah, so I'm pretty much done with school, and uh, that's pretty awesome. So I'm definitely going to be getting more time to make videos for you guys, and right after this, I'm probably going to go work on uh, making some videos for my video game channel, because I still have yet to make another video since like a month and a half ago, so i got to get on that. For any of you that haven't known this, I have a video game channel, so I urge you to go check that out. If you go to my channel... There's a link to it. Um, the video game channel is Quad Operative instead of KND Operative. Uh, that's the name of my gamer tag for Xbox. I play Xbox. But that's what I make all the videos about. I have a lot of money, so I'll hopefully I'll be getting an HDP VR soon uh, for video game recording. Right now, I just use my camera. So, uh, but yeah, that's my slightly long-ish, short-ish update. I have no idea how long I've been talking, so I can't really say long update or short update, but yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Talk to you guys later.